Hi, I'm Eleanor Silverstein, and today I am here with Deborah Bowes, who has her doctorate in physical therapy, along with being a brilliant and amazing Feldenkrais practitioner and trainer extraordinaire. And Deborah works with women's health, working with supporting the floor of the pelvis, and for me, mostly, that is so important, talking about the bladder. And we were talking earlier about, you know, what is the difference between doing Kegels and doing this? Right. That's a really great question because so many people have done Kegels mm -hmm. with no success. And they think, oh, that's it. I can't do anything. But it's because the Kegel muscles, like the muscles that you use when you're peeing and you want to stop the flow, or when you don't want to pass gas in public, the muscles that you have to relax in order to pee you need to also be able to activate them and they never work alone. Oh. So they work with the abdominals, with hip muscles, with the back muscles, with the diaphragm for breathing. And in order to effectively um, improve their function, which means strengthening them and being able to relax, you have to include the whole system, which means you have to be able to feel what you're doing. And that's where Feldenkrais comes in. Ooh, okay, so what, I've been to your classes before and they are brilliantly created and done and I've seen this help women of all ages um, because I've, I've seen in my practice women in their 20s already mm -hmm. having bladder control right. issues and they go in and they're having, you know, biofeedback technology used inside and they still don't get a benefit. Mm -hmm. So this is because the sensing and feeling, which right. is what you're guiding, but you teach the anatomy of it and you help us to understand really mm -hmm. what's going on. Does this help men? It helps men also, men who, especially men who have an enlarged prostate and difficulty starting the stream because when the prostate's enlarged, there's more weight and the pelvic floor muscles can be more tight. And it can also help with blood flow down there so that their ability to have good sexual functions improves. How are those related? The pelvic floor in that? Yeah, how yeah. is that related? Well, you need blood flow to have the erection and you also need to have that ability to sense and feel the pelvic floor muscles contracting, relaxing, and it's just kind of overall general general health. Like the studies with Viagra and pelvic floor exercises show that they are equally effective. What? But not just Kegels. You have to do yeah. effective movements, effective Kegels that include movements of the whole body. Wait a minute. You're kidding me. Is it's true that there is no difference between or or using self awareness in this program that you created? Mm -hmm. is the same and better than taking a pill? That's what the studies show, that Viagra and pelvic floor exercises are 85% effective, which really surprised me for sure. <laughs> Should be known more. I mean, we're, it's the same for women with incontinence, right? Like, m women improve, 80% of women can improve their uh, simple incontinence where you cough or sneeze or laugh or where you have to pee constantly. Okay, so what about women that have pelvic pain or it hurts on intercourse after a certain stage in life? Yeah, so there's a big issue about pelvic pain, and I wouldn't say that these are specifically about that kind, like pelvic pain. Right. But for sexual function, you need blood supply. You need those tissues to stay hydrated and to stay, I always call it fluffy, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And after menopause, when the hormones change, there's less circulation there. There's less mucus in the urethra to seal the urethra. There's less blood supply for the muscles around the urethra. So women in my research study reported not only improvement in incontinence, but improvement in their sexual relations and that it wasn't painful anymore. Oh, wow. Okay, and then in that case, um, fluffy factor, <laughs> would, that, would that have to do with the, the increase of UTIs as women get older? Exactly. Would, could this help? But definitely. Oh. Definitely. Okay, so yeah. now we're talking about this simple program that you created, and I've taken it, and this is why I want you to know about it. So it helps us with our uh, strength and coordination of our pelvic floor, so our bladder 
We can cough and sneeze and not have to have a TV commercial made out of it, mm -hmm. right? About taking a pill, instead learning these lessons. And then you're saying also for um, helping women to have sexual relations um, as we get older. Right, without to, pain. Without pain. Mm -hmm. And now you're also talking about the third thing, about how women tend to get UTIs and this helps in that fluffy factor. And the fluffy factor, <laughs> that's right. And, and the incontinence factor alone is huge, right? Huge. That you can then go on a car trip, you can sit through a movie, you can you know, walk to work and you're not worried and you don't have to wear, like I saw this ad with women putting on diapers. It's not, mm -hmm. and trying to show that it's sexy, it's no. not. It's not, it's, it's no one really needs to do that. And everyone can improve this. My mother who's 87 has improved her pelvic floor function with this. So this is for women and men, and all men. ages. All ages. All ages, because if it's gonna help men when they get older, imagine if the men learn how to utilize this mm -hmm. earlier on. Yeah, so men need to really learn how to sense and feel to relax the pelvic floor generally, and women generally need to learn how to activate by using the whole body. So what is the name of the program? So the program is called Pelvic Health and Awareness, and it has six awareness through movement lessons. The first one is to really use sound to be able to relax yourself enough that you can feel the pelvic floor. Then the others involve using the abdominals, using movements of the legs and hips that are really easy to do, so basic. And through them, by the end of the six lessons, everyone can feel their pelvic floor contracting. And once you can feel it, then you can use it. Wow, okay, and what is the name, what website oh, yeah. so can they you, go to to get this? So you can get them, you can find information about them on my website by oh, www.feldenkraissf. So that's feldenkraissf, like San Francisco.com. And that's F-E-L-D-E-N-K-R-A-I-S-S-F. Dot com. Mm -hmm. Or cdbaby.com if you put my name in the search, Deborah Bose. Or uh, Feldenkrais Resources sells them and Achieving Excellence. And Feldenkrais Resources and Achieving Excellence are both distributors of pelvic health and awareness, which is a Feldenkrais Awareness Through Movement program for women and men. And can I offer just one tip immediately? Yeah. So the big tip for the day is when you pee, just sit down and relax. Don't push into your pelvic floor. Don't do power peeing. And for men who have trouble starting the stream, sit down and relax. Same thing. What a gift to give ourselves to be able to relieve ourselves more easily. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. and to keep it where it belongs. <laughs> That's right. Deborah. If it comes out when you don't want it to, you're incontinent. Mm -hmm. Thank and what is the number one reason? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, you once said about elderly people, Oh, that's the number one reason people are admitted to a nursing home is because they're incontinent yeah. and we can avoid that at yeah. any age. At any age and every age. But I love also that that tone gives vitality for yeah, other parts just, of our lives. Right. So thank you. That's right. Thank you. Oh, Deborah. And this one's for you to oh, use. Oh, so gifty, thank you. Gifty, gifty, gifty. <laughs> <laughs> so get it. I, I implore you because this was a game changer in the way that after I took her course and... Um, being able to help my clients. Yeah, that's right, you work with people for sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Thank use you. it for yourself, give it to someone you love. Wow, what a great gift to give somebody. Thank Deborah, you. thank you. Thank you, Eleanor. Mm -hmm. <laughs>